Hi. So, it's five days till Christmas. Parents, you did it. You did it! Congratulations! Great job, everybody! Who's excited? 10 a.m. Santa's coming to town! Santa! Who's well uh, not? Hate, 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 hate. Double hate. Lose entirely. Either way, Merry Christmas from us all at NLK. We love you lots. But don't forget, we have a Christmas holiday special. Tuesday, the 22nd of December, we have our Holiday Breakfast Club. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. Come anytime from 9 a.m. till half 10, and there'll be Christmas pancakes, a free pack lunch, and a Christmas present from one of our happy elves. We know you're gonna love it, so make sure you're there. And right now, I guess we go back to Elena. Last time I saw her, she was trying to make a Christmas present. But anyway, enjoy. Bye. Not today, sir. The next day. Good girl, stay. Stay. Oh. Good girl, stay. Stay. Good girl, stay. Hey, no! Stay with us! Six and a half hours later. Have you got there? Treasure! Oh, so you found the Christmas treasure? Not THE treasure! Oh, I didn't think you would. It looks like it's been wrapped by a toddler. Oh no, he didn't. Hey! I've never wrapped treasure before! Treasure? You mean a gift? No, treasure! Treasure I'm gonna give to somebody else. They might treasure it, but we call things like this a gift or a present. Something nice to give people we love, especially at Christmas time. I personally think it's quite an outdated tradition, really. Why is that? Well, people are more bothered about what they're getting. And then, then they get upset when they don't get what they want. It can become a competition over who got the most presents instead of being grateful for the things we already have. Like, um, like family and good health and clean clothes and, and a warm bed. Not everyone can afford presents, and it's not what the focus of Christmas should be. Oh, well, uh, I guess I'll just have to take this back Well, then. Ho hold on, hold on. Who's it for? You. Oh, well, <laughs> in that case, gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, 
this here is not tingling. Something's wrong. What is it? That's there's barely anything in here. My bad. Well, you see, after I'd wrapped it, I kind of thought maybe that the Christmas treasure was hiding in there, so I had to unwrap it. And when I unwrapped it and opened it and there was no Christmas treasure in there, I had to, um, eat my feelings. Uh, oh, that's oh, all bad news, baby. By, by eating my sweets? Well, you said that Christmas, oh, is an outdated and unnecessary tradition, so I was just doing you a thing. But hold on, I said that after you'd eaten them. Bastard! <sighs> but I guess you're right. Although, if they're meaningful presents, yes, I'd probably be okay with it. A bit like Jesus at that first Christmas. Ow! 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 <laughs> I guess you're right. Although, if they're meaningful presents, I'd, I'd probably be okay with it. A bit like Jesus at that first Christmas. hey -o. He got presents. Well, we recognise that name. I should hope so too. You remember, I told you last week about Mary and Joseph. hey -o. Jesus was born to them. And you're telling me this because... Because you've been looking for the treasure of Christmas. Ah, the Christmas treasure. How could I forget? What a hopeless and thankless task. All the woe and disappointment and sorrow of tales. Oh, I, me hearties. Christmas treasure, oh Christmas treasure. Where art thou, oh Christmas treasure? Hopeless, helpless, disparaging. What sort of a pirate am I? You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. I might as well hang up my red lipstick and black eyeliner forever. I know someone who would be relieved. I mean, that sounds very dramatic and very serious. I'm sorry you feel so under the weather. I don't just feel under the weather. I feel... Blech. Blech? Wow! But I have been trying to tell you that you wouldn't find the treasure of Christmas. Not in Christmas trees, Christmas food, Christmas presents, or even Christmas pudding. It's in the Bible. What? That massive book? I've already told you I don't have time to read that. Well, uh, let me break it down for you. Are you ready? A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far... Uh, sorry. A land far, far away, there was a girl. Is this gonna take a long time? Because I have to tell you, I already feel as flat as a pirate ship sail without any wind in it. Oh dear. Well... Basically, a baby was born in a stable. A baby born to save the world, and he is the treasure of Christmas. Not just of thousands of years ago, but still today. A baby? A baby is the treasure of Christmas? Are you meaning to tell me that I should have just been strolling the wards of Scunthorpe Maternity Ward? No, that wouldn't be good. No! No! Anyway, you're only allowed one person in at a time at the moment. No, please don't do that. It's not just any baby anyway. Only this baby, Jesus Christ, born in Bethlehem to a young girl called Mary. A baby meek and mild, born to save the world with love and peace. And he is the treasure of Christmas. Because without him, there would be no Christmas. And, more importantly, there would be no hope for the world. Wow. Yeah. That is a big job for a baby. Well, he didn't stay a little baby. He grew up into a big... Well, into a man. Well, 
I bet he did some crazy stuff to save the world. I bet he got his pitchforks and his torches and he stormed the palaces and he killed all the bodies and he saved all the innocent people. Is oh! Um, not, not exactly. Like I said, meek and mild, he came into the world to bring peace and hope for everyone, even, even the baddies. And then he died. Died? Well, that took a turn. That's what his friends thought too. But he rose again, giving hope, bringing peace and a chance for us all to know him for ourselves. Jesus Christ, saviour of the world. Wow, that is really, really special. And I can see why Jesus is the treasure of Christmas. Maybe I can uh, chill out now, trying to dig up all the trees in Scunthorpe and eating everybody's Christmas sweets. Uh, and maybe I, I could read that big book you're talking about a little bit more about this really cool new Jesus. Merry Christmas! Ha <laughs> <laughs>